Hi Lana. Uh, hello and welcome once again. Now, uh, the reason as why you are here is because you are interested in pursuing a software engineering a course, right? So I'm here to mention uh, some of the available courses in this particular domain of software engineering and better still, uh, the best campuses or other universities that offer at uh, this particular uh, course known as software engineering. Now, the sad news is that uh, not many universities in Kenya that offer this particular uh, course, right? In fact, just to be honest, there are only three <laughs> universities in the entire Kenya that offers pure uh, software engineering courses, right? Of course, I'll mention two additional ones that uh, offer related uh, courses uh, to software engineering, right? So yes, uh, if you're interested in pursuing your software engineering, I'll urge you to maybe uh, stick around till the end of this particular video so that at least you get to understand the options that are available, right? Of course, if you are joining us for the very first time, kindly don't forget uh, to subscribe. All right, the first university of course, it was just upgraded, upgraded to university the other day. It was a college. It's Multimedia University of Kenya, right? So it is the one that actually uh, majors or has a, an, un, an undergraduate uh, degree in software engineering, right? So you just have to click within the description and apply. So you just have to click on the apply now can apply online so let's look at the minimum entry requirements so you have to have a mini grade of c plus with c plus in maths physics chem chemistry and english right and of course a level and two or a level two principal passes right so uh career opportunities now the good thing with software engineering even before i look at these uh, kind of opportunities that they present here is that it offers the self-employment opportunity. Once you are okay with this, or once you gra graduate and have hands-on in software engineering, my friend, <laughs> you don't even you don't need even to be employed. Yeah, you can always start creating your own uh, software. And of course, here yeah, uh, you can be uh, employed in software companies. You can be a, an IT consultant right so that's why i'm saying this is a very nice uh, domain or rather a program to have and I, I think it that's why most university doesn't offer it it requires a lot of and very few people actually can teach it right so that's why we don't have so many universities right so the duration let's look at the duration it takes four years and of course you will need to uh, arm yourself with around 85,000 Kenya shillings, right? Because things have gone up, so it could be around 85 or even 90, right? So it's only multimedia university, I'll repeat, that has a concrete or a well-established software engineering program. So give it a priority, check with them. Then number two, the list is KCA. So KCA offers a, almost a similar undergraduate program known as uh, uh, software development, right? So let's just click on the more details and see what it has. So software development ideally and software engineering to me is one and the same thing because all of them have the same uh, units. You can pursue the same unit, right? And you can see here uh, what you're going to pursue the first semester, second semester, and the third semester. So all these are part of this particular uni a program known as software development. So yes, uh, KCA University offers uh, an opportunity for you to be able to understand in details the software engineering practice. So with them, they take three years. And you can see it's a solid one, very solid, yeah? It has a lot of uh, things to be done. Year one only has that, year two and year three 
right? So you'll be fully equipped with a lot of understanding of different uh, things, right? So I happen to have uh, taught uh, one of the units from this particular university, right? So yes, I can assure you that you'll get the best from them. And of course, the mean grade here is C plus for you to uh, qualify for this particular uh, program, right? And you can become, of course, your own uh, employer once you, you get the correct skills. So that is the case here for you, right? Uh, at number three, this one is JQuart, but they don't offer undergraduate, unfortunately, right? They only concentrate on the master degree in software engineering. So that means, let's say once you have graduated from multimedia with your undergraduate, you can come to JQuart and do your master's in software engineering. That is if you want to have one single line of career in software engineering, right? So they only offer masters, that is JQuart, not undergraduate. So here, the requirements for you to join them is that you need to have, uh, of course, uh, you need to have a, a holders of a, of a bachelor's degree in related discipline, right? And of course, uh, at least upper second, right? So you can check on that. And they have a lot, the duration here takes two years, two academic year. Right. Um, you can see what you are going to be taught here. The, <laughs> uh, the program units. So you'll do HCI, software quality assurance, uh, all these. And of course, you are expected to write a thesis in software engineering, right? Also, you're going to understand about object-oriented software engineering, right? So if you want to be a guru in software development, then you can always pursue masters in, uh, in software engineering. And I stop there. <laughs> so those are the only three. I've done my research. Uh, maybe if you can always, uh, if you have other opinion or you have done all, also your research, you can share them within the comment, right? Those are the three universities that I've come across here in Kenya that offers this particular option in software engineering, right? Of course, you have the colleges that offer diploma and the rest, but I was looking at from uh, the undergraduate to a master's level. The other alternative is to check with the University of Nairobi, UN. They have these... Um, uh, they have the the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, this one. It takes four years. But uh, I looked at their, I looked at their um, units, and one of the units that they provide is actually the, the software engineering uh, component, right? Uh, let me just check again something close to that you can see one of the units in semester one is software engineering you see right so that's an alternative if you don't have the the option for software engineering you can pursue this right and you can see most of the the courses or rather the units that they provide are similar to what other software engineering uh, programs offer in the mentioned universities right so yes this is another alternative the other alternative is to go to Strathmore and check on their bachelor of science in informatics and computer science right they also have the component of uh, software engineering right so yes you can see it's a very it's scanty information regarding this the uh, this particular universities that offer uh, this much needed a uh, program that is software engineering all right uh, should you have any additional information kindly share it within the comment section if you found this information uh, meaningful always don't forget uh, to click on that like button and of course 
don't forget to subscribe thank you